better that than burning the harvest. Hey gamers, Claw with TDH14 back with you again with part two of Let's Play Witcher 3. We left off on the chase for Yennefer of Vengerberg. We are now here at White Orchard. Let's see where our adventure takes us. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? I don't know. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Well guys, as you can see, witchers are not well liked, so we're going to head around here a little more, see if we can't get some information about which way Yennefer went. Uh, I think we'll head over here and talk to this guy, um, and see what he has to say. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I oh, know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, 
Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, end notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Well, guys, looks like we are taking off to go talk to the Nilfgaard Empire. We're just going to quickly read about the Miraculous Guide, or is it Marvel? I'm sorry, Marvelous Guide to Gwent. Uh, quickly speak to this lady, uh, see what she has to sell. Hopefully she has some more Gwent cards. That would be kind of cool if she did. So we're just, uh, what are you Got anything selling? Under the counter. Okay. what you're after. Take a look, a look at what she has here. And, yes, she has four Gwent cards, five, five, five Gwent cards. Oh, no, yeah, that's a Gwent card. Oh, it's a Commander Gwent. Okay, so we have bought what we could off of her, and now we're going to continue our Very trek well. here onwards and forward to the Nilfgaard Empire. So we're going to head out, go mount the... Uh, Roach, which is the name of our horse, coincidentally. Oh, uh, this is never good. Done drinking. Mm hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Well, since they want to fight, we might as well get this over with. You know, I... I tried to warn them. So we'll just, you know, quickly buzz through these three guys. One, two, and... Oh! Bang! Three. All right. Now that we've done that, now we can actually uh, get on Roach here and go continue what it is we were trying Let's to do, go. which is talk to the Nilfgaardian Empire.
Let's go. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. 
Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. Es sun the well, as you can see, nothing comes for free when it comes to being a witcher. So now we got to kill the griffin in order to get information about which way Yennefer of Vengeberg went. So, I guess we'll take off and go talk to the herbalist first. And then we'll head over and talk to Mizla, the hunter. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. 
bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars, something, something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next well, time. Well gamers, that's gonna do it for today's edition of Let's Play Witcher 3. Come on back tomorrow, see if we help this girl or not with the swallow potion. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Game on!